we have now almost 29 million Mexican people living in hunger. So there is a lot of things to be done. More than 20 million tons of food uh, are wasted each year in Mexico. Look, we're a very big company. We're everywhere in the world. We are related to food and clothing, of course. Thinking about what we could do. So my first thought was food, because if people are not correctly fed, if they don't have their, their nutrition, they won't be able to improve in anything else. We are working together with John Deere to rescue more food from the value chain, to have a stronger operations in our food banks, to have a stronger cold chain, to have more vehicles. I started thinking more about how is it that we produce all of this food, plenty of food for the world to have enough, yet we are still seeing one in four people facing food insecurity. And that's honestly because we have a distribution problem. And that's really what led me to my work at the Global Food Banking Network. The Global Food Banking Network, we pride ourselves in being really an accelerator. Most of what we do involves working with local staff at food banks that we support. One of the biggest benefits that we have in our relationship with GFN is this uh, knowledge platform that they provide where we can share our experiences, our initiatives, our successes, and also our failures. Welcome to our meeting. We feel very supported by GFN when we are defining a strategic plan or a public policy initiative. We know that we can count on them. Over the past 15 years, we have had the incredible privilege to work to start food banks or to grow small food banks in 44 countries. And together, those organizations in 2020 provided meals to 40 million individuals and families. Most of what we do involves working with local staff at food banks that we support. Our organization integrates 54 independent food banks. They work directly with the communities and with different allies, different companies that they are willing and they are committed to end hunger in Mexico. At the same time, we have to be thinking about distribution and about how we make sure that surplus is able to get to people in need. And that's really a very unique niche for food banks because they take wholesome edible surplus at the local level and they are able to recover and redirect that to people facing hunger in their communities. We work taking the food to the community and we get the help with a special committee that it is integrated by beneficiaries from the same community. So they help us with the food distribution, but also they help us to implement different strategies and interventions that has to do with different programs that we have regarding nutrition and education. We provide training with the beneficiaries directly. We really find that a food bank positioned in a community can have multiple benefits. You know, there's obviously the immediate benefit of providing a resource to families and individuals in need. From an economic standpoint, it also provides a way for businesses, even for governments, to direct resources to reinvest in the community. Estamos en el parque, este Fidesur Galeana. Estamos en uno de los invernaderos o naves este, de una eh, sociedad Este, se produce tomate saladet, la variedad es seed. Esto eh, produce tomate, pues sí, saladet, este, de primera calidad. Tierra y agua, trabajamos bajo un contrato traslativo. Este, lo, la, lo que viene siendo las estructuras o, o los invernaderos, ese se bajo un recurso federal y, y estatal. Parte puso gobierno Fidesur y parte los productores. Cada invernadero, un promedio de este año pasado, estábamos llegando alrededor de 118 toneladas. Este, en relación con el Banco de Alimentos, tenemos alrededor de cinco años ya trabajando, donando ahí este, nuestro, nuestro tomate, ¿verdad? Este, se, se da este, una, a veces una carga por semana, dependiendo eh, las necesidades del Banco de Alimentos, nos hablan y pues ya, ya se, les, se, les ofrece, se les ofrece el, el producto. ¿eh? 
So another major focus for um, our network is how do we service people that are harder to reach. So it could be people living in indigenous communities, um, could be rural populations, and um, people in the informal workforce. Get the food to our food banks to integrate food packages with the highest nutritional value possible, and then we deliver this food to people in need through almost 6,000 communities. Our model is based mostly on the work that we do directly with the beneficiaries and the community. So uh, we define uh, which community can be part of a food bank and making these questionnaires when we define the level of poverty and of food insecurity that they live in, so they can be part of a food bank. Uh, we are not only help people in need, but also we're helping the planet because we are reducing the impact and the gas emissions that food loss and waste is producing. Las donaciones que se hacen de este parque pues van a ir a, a más personas, a más gente, ¿verdad? Entonces por eso siempre se trata de una buena relación. Nosotros poder ayudar a que las demás gentes también se beneficien, ¿verdad? I've also seen how giving back to the community makes the community better. It's not only a matter of feeding people or giving them the, the medical treatment, but of really improving the whole community and the sense of community so that they together can continue improving and have access to a better life. GFN right now has a goal, a target goal, that aligns with the Sustainable Development Goals, which is to serve 50 million people facing hunger by 2030. So we are on track to meet that goal. Uh, food banking is about changing life. Uh, the first life that is changed is my life, is the life of the food bankers, because you see life through different glasses, with different eyes. You get the chance to do a better world for you for your family and, and for the, those in need, that they are the same to you, but they just need help right now. And you get the chance to help. So I'm so proud of being a food banker and to be here with you.